making sure that I make it to the f***ing panel. They're kicking us all out. We're really down to the wire, and we're not even close to prepared. <laughs> I'm so f***ing late, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Because I'm getting pretty stressed. Yeah, WonderCon was chaos. But it didn't actually start off that way. Now, this wasn't our first time going to WonderCon. This is our second time at WonderCon. Last year, we were completely unprepared. So, for WonderCon this year, we were locked and focused. That's why I've been working hard this last month, so we don't repeat those mistakes. Despite all of our meetings and all of our preparation, we still had a lot left to figure out. And eventually, I started to ask myself, how are we going to pull this off? <laughs> it's day one. We're ready to set up our booth at the convention center. But before we can do that, we have to go get our badges so that they can even let us in to the convention hall. I can't believe we're back in. I feel like I'm getting this like rush of like deja vu, but soon this is going to be a massive like, you know, expo hall. I'm excited to man the booth again. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> but all of that was the easy stuff. We are currently on our way to WonderCon. Uh, the convention center in particular, to set up our booth. Now that we have our passes, the first order of business is to set up our booth. Sounds easy enough, right? Yeah, so we're on our way to set up our booth and we have a lot of stuff to unload for my car. Uh, we didn't bring the wagon. <laughs> but we're already failing. <laughs> we forgot the wagon. So also, you forgot the box. What box? The big box. The big box. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. Should I told the two things I told him not to forget. You know, I'm doing just okay. <laughs> what happened? So, the wagon doesn't fit. That's what we've got to work with. Yeah. This thing. This thing is becoming a problem. My job was to make sure the booth was running smoothly. Unfortunately, my dog Carlo got very sick and had to go to the vet two days in a row. I, I hope that didn't affect the booth setup. Let's get the nice rug so that we can get it all destroyed with shoe prints. And guess who's here? Kaylin. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, hey. We did the wrong side. Julie, how asleep are you right now? I'm pretty tired. And we're trying to figure out how to do the booth layout on our own. The pole needs to go the other way. That Sorry. explains it. Uh-oh. Okay, it's your ah! Where's my card? What do you mean, where's your card? It's not that bad, but it's like getting bad. Hey, I have a card. I have a... Right now. No, 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 don't get that on the film. I don't get it in the video. Halt. 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 Setting up the booth was taking way longer than it should have. I think I was being a little bit nitpicky about how I wanted the table to be set up. And since we didn't have a practice run, we were kind of winging it. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna get. Julie, can you make your pen work? And it is a pencil. I like don't know how math works because I'm like looking at this and I was like, how does this make sense? I thought like, that you were gonna say because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. You know, um, we're trying our best, and I think so far, what we have right now, it's like. Not bad. Hopefully that leads us to a booth that we like. Three, two, one. Oh, it looks so good. Can Thank I be you. your first customer? If you want. For day two, I really felt it. We were back in action. But as soon as we got there, we immediately hit a problem. Hi. Hey. Hold on. Oh, okay. Technically, you can't escort people either. Um, well, I'm not escorting anyone. I'm just letting you know that she's with us. We can't okay. have anybody in right now. All right. The hall's not open yet. Okay. Can you get him to come? Yeah, they're just doing something. Oh, they're going to come. Right so okay. should I knock Sorry. them out? What was that? Should I knock them out? Because I'm already in. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, not yet. Um, I mean, I saw you, so it's fine. But um, only exhibitors can escort. Okay. Hey, can you come out? Because they, they want to see that you are with me and your brother. You're not going to be allowed to go back in. Okay. Sorry. So, what, what are we waiting for? 30 minutes for the hall to open. I go over to the security guards and say, hey, they're with me. Here's my exhibitor badge. I need them to help me set up the booth. We're running out of time. Guard looks at me and says, ah, oh, look, if you have an exhibitor badge, it says visit on it. I'm going to bring the badge to you right now. I have 30 minutes. Until they're kicking us out. They're kicking us all out. Yeah, because you're a visitor. It says visit the Comic-Con Museum. It's an advertisement. It's it says exhibitor. No, he's an exhibitor. Right, right. Exhibitors don't have escort privileges. Only exhibitors can escort. Exhibitors do not have escort privileges. This gets worse. It gets worse. 
but we uh, examiners do not escort people through, and professional badges don't get on the floor until the floor is open. When's the floor open? 1130. Um, Why not just now? And my brother was ready in the hall anyways. Last year they allowed us in with this professional badge. So last my... year was a different year, sir. The funniest part of all of this is that they went to another guard, and the guard let them in. <laughs> people have started walking into the convention hall. I'm so nervous. I'm like trying to make myself feel better about this, but I'm actually really nervous. So. the booth is going very smoothly without me. We've talked to a lot of really cool people and we actually got on a lot of people quite invested in our show and people showed interest in coming to the panel, which is huge. I'm a low-key already wife though. Once we have just like one proper run through, I'll feel pretty good. And that's basically it for the panel, right? At least practice wise. We'll practice it and, and, and it'll... This way. We're going this way. Oh, and it'll be a vibe. All right. Some bad news. Panel practice didn't happen last night. It is the day of the panel and we're running pretty behind. I feel like it's kind of down to the wire and we still haven't prepped a lot of the stuff for the panel. But anyways, I'm really hoping people get ready soon because I'm getting pretty stressed. We are at Hall A. I have to go all the way to Hall D and make it sure that I make it to the panel. I'm like already 20 minutes late, but it is what it is. We're gonna try our best. Oh god. I'm like lost. I don't know how to get back. I'm so sorry. Um, there was no parking, so. We were supposed to have a moderator, and we're self moderating now. Yeah. So this is why this is chaos. Yeah. Uh, but. Sorry. <laughs> I like parked my car illegally. I'm really hoping they don't tow her. Intro Sunny? Oh my god, yes, Sunny! Hey. Everyone, welcome Sunny. <laughs> this was an amazing experience. Not because of her sales or like our panel or, or, or anything like that, but because of the people I got to do this with. Oh, it's finally great to be in the same room and feeding off each other's energies. Hanging out with everyone um, has been such a blessing. The opportunity to reveal this project and our hard work so soon it has been amazing. And even the stressful moments are now fond memories that we can laugh about. It's the reason why we do what we do. And I guess that's the key. Overcoming difficult and stressful things like this with awesome people makes everything so much easier. So this is what it's all about, having you guys there, having you guys part of our journey. And I'm hoping that you guys can stick around, you know? It really does feel like every day, we're working towards building something that's bigger than ourselves. It's been a blessing. It's been a great time. Thank you guys. Woo! Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah.